Hi, today we're going to talk about uh, abdominal fullness and the difference between visceral fat and subcutaneous fat and what we can do about it. So this diagram shows a cross section of the abdominal cavity. You can see here subcutaneous fat, the, uh, uh, the abdominal musculature, and visceral fat with the ensuing organs. Now, with liposuction, the only fat you can remove or tackle is that subcutaneous fat. You have to stop where the abdominal wall is. This fat, called visceral fat, cannot be surgically removed either with a tummy tuck or liposuction. You can tighten this wall here to push this back somewhat with a tummy tuck, but that's all you can do. You cannot remove it. In this next case, this is a liposuction only case where all I did was suction both the back and abdominal, abdominal wall. Uh, you can see the fullness here of the patient in a lateral view and how I was able to decrease their size by just suctioning the uh, subcutaneous fat right here and in the back. This is the abdominal wall, subcutaneous fat, and in the back to get these results. Similarly, in this case, I did a tummy tuck with a tightening of the muscles and liposuction of the back. And this is the result. You can see still some fullness there, but that fullness is not from subcutaneous fat. It's from visceral fat, fat which is left in the intra-abdominal cavity.